What's up gamers, Jem here and welcome to the first look for Ease 9 Monstrum Nox and let's begin. This is a genuine first look, never played this game before but I did play Ease 8, it was part of a Stadia Pro game and it was really bloody awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's play select the difficulty, player select, select the difficulty, uh, normal, let's go for that. Uh, set vertical camera auto correction. Uh, sure. Enable assist mode off. Settings can be adjusted at greater detail in game. Cool. Let's play it. Let's play this game. Let's see what it's about. Good. You've made it out. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. I've grown rather accustomed to these walls. Hurry now. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. Now go! Uh, move L, hold L1, uh, dash for that, okay, press A, okay, it's pretty much standard stuff. What Ooh, happened? it's no really smooth. So far. Did a prisoner break out? Oh wow, look at the minimap, it actually shows, like, where I'm going, or, I mean, where I was. Um... I want to see something. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> um, seek a way out of the prison. Let's see... Can I jump down? There's people down there. Can I really not jump down? Oh, it's right here. I mean, <laughs> so many places that has an open door. Uh, seek a way out of the prison. When in doubt, aim for the objective to continue your adventure. Display minimap. Cool. Oh, L if I press L3, this is what happens. Report! Report! What is it? There's been an escape from the East Wing cell block. We're verifying the inmate number now. Stand by for a follow-up report. How the hell? Seal all passages leading to and from the East Wing. I, I think I, I was yes, a sir. prisoner and I'm running away. Can I not go up here? Oh wow, that was instant loading. <laughs> you should be able to go down from here. Yeah, sure. Uh, saving and loading, okay. Does it want me to save now? Go on then. <laughs> I go further like that with jumping. You should look around the room a bit. <gasps> I wonder what's in this chest. Oh, a sword. Quit. Anything else? I d there was this one free DLC that I downloaded. I don't know what was inside it though. So I might unlock it later. It's probably like outfits or something. Or maybe just items like health. Potions. Uh, 
Ugh, it's like fish crabs. Attack B, lock on his Y. B to attack is kind of weird for some reason. Man, I love the combat in this game. <laughs> I don't want to look on, actually. I think it's easier without looking on. It seems I've arrived too late. <laughs> What's with your arm and leg? <laughs> we don't even know who they are, Leah. Let's just start with that. Is it every day you're this unabashedly brazen? And we have only just met? <laughs> no matter. Despite who you are, your role here is crucial. Oh, she's got a gun. Oh, she's aiming at- Oh, she just shot at me. Oh, I'm hit. Is this because I asked what's up with your legs and arms? <laughs> Impressive. You've assimilated with the curse without so much as a squeal. Your new form deserves a proper name. How about the Crimson King? You've been cursed, as I said. And now you must stay calm. And embrace it. What's the curse? Just giving me a new outfit? You can quickly warp to locations marked with whatever by pressing R2. Do you understand your gift? There is no going back now, I'm afraid. The wheels of fate are already turning. Use your power to escape this place. We will meet again in time. Owen. My name is Aprilis. Keep looking, damn it! But they told us we're not supposed to be down here. Who cares? We have to find the prisoner. <gasps> she vanished. She shot us, gave us a gift, and vanished. Very uh, solid story plot. So let's press R2. Ooh, it's like. Teleport grapple. And I guess that's my mana on the bottom. Do I get like new attack powers? Your sword seems to have changed shape to suit your appearance. Hold R1 to unleash skills. I think all I have is one skill, yeah. I only have one skill right now. Oh yeah, I should probably aim lock here then. Yeah. Even though I prefer not to aim lock, but it makes the skill usage easy. Just spamming the same skill. <laughs> I'm getting mana really quick. Oh, it doesn't. I can't break the boxes. A treasure chest. A treasure chest. Raisins. I don't think I need it. <laughs> just spam. Yeah, just spam it. <laughs> Oh, I keep pressing L3 to sprint. Ah, <laughs> uh, I want to go back down. I want to kill them. I want my XP. I get mana really quick. Wait, did it just jump down to its death? 
Or is in the water. Ah oh, man, didn't know that would actually kill me. I just wanted to know where it went. Oh, I keep pressing L3. <laughs> Keeps opening my minimap, but I keep thinking it's the sprint button. Double jump, yes. I love double jump in games. My favorite. Man, that the loading screens though, like Let's you don't even the see the loading screen, it just just loads immediately. Uh select retry. Okay. Oh, I, f I think I leveled up. I don't know. Oh, box back straight away. Evade. So <laughs> I could just spam this as well. Oh, you think you think you're good, mate? <laughs> Just wait until my uh, my my mana recharges, mate. Ooh! I think they made this game easier than the previous game, but I feel I feel like there's more action though, like with, like the skill ability stuff. I don't remember dodging in the previous game, but I could easily be wrong. Crimson line in battle. Doing this will... Wait, hold on. Locked on targets will display when crimson line is usable. Doing this will deplete your gift gauge. You won't be able to use until it's fully charged. Press R2 after looking onto an enemy. Okay. What? Oh. It's basically my way of just. Uh, oh, I see the line it's talking about. It's about the thing under my foot. Oh, it get, it's getting confusing with that R2 ability. Take this, take this. Just waiting for my mana to recharge. It's just jumping around. I don't. Yeah, the the boss hasn't hit me once. Wow. <laughs> oh. And it's dead. It didn't even hit me once. Oh, I'm level 4 already. Damn. Do you think the girl's gonna come back? Shoot me again, give me a second power. Mate, I just Is killed a giant frog. Really, inmate two one seven? You don't want to mess with me. He looks just like. Silence! I want that rogue in irons. Assassin's Creed. 
What the? He jumped! It's unlikely that he'll make it out of these catacombs in one piece. The aqueduct leads straight to the city. Send a search party as a precaution. Have you ever had a dream where you weren't you? You were someone else? When I have a dream like that, it makes me wonder, am I really me? Perhaps such a dream is my reality, and my reality is the dream. I discovered the answer during my adventures in Balduk, and the answer was astoundingly simple. They are both equal truths. What is real is defined by what is not. Who one is, is defined by who one isn't. One must accept these truths if they wish to live and learn and grow. It was in this prison, this cradle, where my dreams and my reality became intertwined. Adol Kristen. An excerpt from Balduk Prison. I'm so glad for the voiceover because I would not be able to read any of that handwriting or that font they used. No! I lost my powers. <laughs> Finally made it to Balduk, the prison city. Word is, it's home to the biggest slammer in the Roman territories. Even from out here, I can tell the city's huge. Look, Adel. There's a security checkpoint at the gates. Hmm. I may have left my life of crime, but getting the old shakedown still puts me on edge. Anyway, it'd be nice to catch some shut-eye in an actual bed for once. They say the garrison runs a tight ship throughout the city. What with the prison and all. Well, let's go see what's going on. <gasps> and I'm level three. I lost a level. <laughs> How long is this going to take? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> is this a talk to intense, man? If you want to get into Balduk, we'll need to inspect your... Security looks tight here. Did something happen? Huh. Guess you could say that. Some hoodlums calling themselves Monstrums have been plaguing Balduk. Monstrums? A certain... Dignitary... has uh, recently gone missing. There's no doubt they're behind this. Those damn pests. Blast it all. I've only just been transferred here, too. Well, not sure if I follow, but it seems like a pretty big deal. Warden Belker. What? Are you sh All right. Detain him. Okay, now that doesn't look like a warm welcome to me. Ooh. You, with the red hair. You're the adventurer, Adol Kristen. Are you not? <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to comply. I'm going to say, how do you know my name? We've just received a warrant for your arrest from the capital. Are you what, mate? A warrant? For Adel? And he says it with a straight face. <laughs> you can't fool me. You returned from the cursed Isle of Saren. You were involved with the Atlas Ocean incident. And most recently, you were seen in Altago in the aftermath of the ceasefire. You are being arrested on the grounds of your suspicious involvement in these events. Ah, uh, would you look at that. We're bona fide celebrities. It'll be easier on all of us if you come quietly with me to the prison. Warden Belger. Oh, Chatelard. Caught me at a bad time. It's just a. If it was this man here, allow me to take him in myself. Oh? But weren't you on patrol? Yes. However, we've just received word that monstrous were sighted in the main square. 
Monstrums, you say? Those must be the guys he was talking about earlier. That's right. I was to report any monstrum activity directly to you. Should have just said so from the start. My apologies. Shall I take it from here? Of course. I know you'll keep a close eye on him. I leave him to you, Chatelard. Troops, fall in! <laughs> I just realized shift their priorities usually I skip the these cutscenes, but I'm actually invested in the story, so I'm not skipping them. <laughs> Today will be the day those pests will finally go where they belong. The one who captures them will receive a sizable boat. Yes, sir! Now then, Mr. Adel Kristen. Um... I am Shadowlard, Master and Commander of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hieroglyph Knights? So, you must be part of the Hieroglyph Church. Why are you working with the Roman Empire? We operate in tandem for the sake of maintaining the order here in Balduk. Warden Belger is the one in charge of the garrison here. As his title suggests, he is also the Warden of Balduk Prison. He will be the one to decide your fate. You will cooperate, one way or another. Battle! He's so fast. You are Dogi the Wall Crusher, are you not? I give you 30 points. You fail. What are you on about? Unlike Adam, you aren't wanted yet by the Roman Empire. And now, I can see why. You should be grateful I'm not taking you in, too. You son of a... <laughs> At all. Hmm. I wish they gave my character a voice. So, you're finally awake, 217? Um... You don't remember? The Knights must have done a number on you. You're in a solitary cell, one of many in Balduk Prison. All inmates are assigned numbers. Yours is 217. You'd do well to remember it. <laughs> don't get too excited. You've just woken up in time for dinner. Come on, let's go. And no funny business, all right? Balduk Prison used to be a fortress. That's why it's got a complex layout. It's not just a soldier stationed here, but also the Roman army and the Hieroglyph Knights. You might as well give up any hope of escaping. Yeah. Good. As long as you... <laughs> it's like they have COVID Listen, there because everyone's like so distantly eating. Here, speaking to each other is forbidden. Each of you have assigned seats. Yours is over there. Please, I, I beg you. Shut it and give me the food. I ain't about to go slave away in the mines on an empty stomach. Come on, help a guy out, will ya? Th that gives me just as much reason to eat as you! Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Ah. Why, you slippery little... Uh, knock over your cup, drop your spoon. Uh... I was expecting an actual cutscene. <laughs> I mean, is that too much to ask? <laughs> oh, watch it! Hey, what's going on here? Inmates 163 and 212. You two again? Uh, I'm sorry. Relax, gentlemen. We were just having a little chat. 
Huh? 163, where's your fork? My what? Your fork. Where is it? God help you if I find out you're stealing cutlery. The hell are you talking about? It's here on the table. I, was, I swear it was just here. Where'd it go? Sure it was. All right, come on, 163. Time for a body search. No. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't eaten anything yet. Ugh. You little shit. This was your doing, wasn't it? I'm gonna say silent. <laughs> Giving me the silent treatment, are you? <laughs> Mark my words. I won't forget this. Ooh, we're playing a Telltale's game. Take a left here. As I mentioned earlier, this prison used to be a fortress. Even the knights and us guards aren't familiar with some of the older underground sector. Forget about being found if you get lost. May as well call it your tomb. Anyway, it hasn't even been a day, and you're already rocking the boat, 217. I'd recommend not making an enemy out of 163. <sighs> I heard you were going to be trouble, but still... Well... Take it from me. Nothing good will come out of being the hero. Just don't cause any more trouble, at least during my shift, alright? And especially not with her. With who? What? <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am. I've brought the inmate you request- You're late. Preposterously late. What are you waiting for? Get in here! You will do as you are instructed. You're going to be asked some questions. I hope your answers are adequate, for your sake. State your inmate ID. Oh, no. No, I didn't actually think- Oh no! <laughs> I didn't actually think it would matter. 216, 217, 216. I think 216 rolls off the tongue better. I think it was 216. Um. <laughs> you don't even remember your number? Your inmate 217. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't think you would be so flimsy looking. From one who calls himself an adventurer, I was expecting someone more robust. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you will speak only when I permit you to. For the past seven years, you have been engaging in adventures. You seem to have a habit of getting involved in remarkable phenomena. These events have been withheld from the public, but delusions can only explain so much. Magic, the Eldeen, alchemy, primordials. Preposterous, indeed. If you ask me, I'd say the rumors about you are quite inflated. Now, you will answer my questions truthfully and without reluctance. Do you understand? Oh, what if I refuse? I'm gonna, I'm gonna no. click on there instead. Good. There's nothing more preposterous than wasted words and time. First question, inmate 217. It seems that shipwrecks are a common occurrence for you. Even sailors and fishermen don't experience a fraction of the accidents you've been in. Some claim you instigated these incidents. What do you say to those accusations? Fortunately for you, no clear motives have been discerned given the circumstances. However, I won't dismiss the possibility that you were conspiring with the crew members. You've even happened upon legendary weapons and artifacts. But somehow you always lose them afterward. Another fraudulent scheme, perhaps? Your antics are a detriment to the national interests of our Roman territories. Several more hours. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I didn't realise I actually stole the fork. <laughs> it must have just ended up in my clothes, okay. Search the prison cell. It's not really that much to search. So we're straight up like trying to break out the cell at some point. Oh, if I hit no, can I put it somewhere else? It's not like I have another spot. Yeah, I don't have another s option. <laughs> Why is it even t asking me if it's yes or no? Like, I can't place it anywhere else. This is you. Come on, in you go. I'll check on you later. Hmm? It seems I have a neighbor. <laughs> Pleasant evening, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Would be an excellent night for a stroll, if we could go for one. Could you come a little bit closer to the wall? Oh, no, don't, don't. <laughs> Wouldn't want the guards hearing us speaking to each other now, would we? I don't trust him. I don't even know who he is, but I don't trust him. That's much better. Listlessness nearly got the better of me after not having someone to talk with for so long. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> I figured as much, seeing as you appear to be keeping yourself busy in there. Please excuse my curiosity. Anyway, my crime was, well, I suppose you could call it fraud. Wait, are we talking from the distance of that massive wall between us? How about you? Well. <laughs> a veritable criminal is amongst us. Hmm. I believe I understand now. Are you here on false charges? In the past, the names and crimes of prisoners were publicly posted. But about five years ago, those postings were suddenly discontinued. Possibly because there's so many of us now. But something tells me there's more to it. Wait. Quiet. How does he know someone's coming from my side? I must have lost track of time. It seems they're doing their rounds now. The guards patrol on a strict schedule. Don't do anything that'll get you caught during patrol hours. Hmm. Now then, mornings come early here. <laughs> Best that you get some rest. You were interrogated for several more days. What? What? <laughs> Was it ten days prior or four? I, I feel like... Okay, I don't remember, never mind. I guess it was 10 days prior. Before we came to the town and then I escaped. That's all I need to hear about the Canaan Islands. The ancient machine that controls the weather. The Ark of Napishtim. I find it difficult to believe that a thing out of a children's fairy tale actually exists. But... Your testimony doesn't conflict with any of the Navy's reports, so far. Yeah. Though I find it difficult to believe, the reports do not lie. And I admit you have been cooperative these past few days. Is that what you hoped I would say? Lies are truth, there's no doubt your so-called adventures have major repercussions. And you're still suspected of being a spy in the Imperial Territories. That's not my problem. Anyone would have a hard time believing these stories. I don't even know why I'm the one who has to do this. Guard! Yes, ma'am. 
Hand inmate 217 over to the Empire to be tried for his other crimes. Take him and go. My other crimes? So they're sending you off? Just like that? I figured you'd already know. There's a rumor about this place. At the end of that corridor, there's a sector where even guards are forbidden. Supposedly, there's a hidden passage there. Built when the prison was still a fortress. An emergency escape route, I imagine. <laughs> I thought you might find it helpful. It's possible it leads out of the prison. But it's a labyrinth down there. There are also rumors of strange creatures prowling the tunnels. Not in the slightest. Rumors like this are the tip of the ice. We've only just met, but I already know you're not one to accept fate lying down. I'm sure you'd have gone anyway, with or without my help. After all, you already possess something to pick the lock with, don't you? Um, damn. <laughs> I have my ways. Okay. Oh, right. Right there. You press the single prong of the floor against the floor. Um, oh, damn, it was him. Good, you've made it out. That was a pretty neat trick with a fork. He must have placed it in my clothes. That's why he knew I had it. It was you all along. <laughs> I knew you would figure it out. I appreciate what you did in the mess hall. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but... I'd only just slow you down. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. I've grown rather accustomed to these walls. Hurry now. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. That was awesome. <laughs> that cut scene was like 20 minutes long, but it was worth it. <laughs> My powers are gone. He's not here. Sweep the area near the canal again. He... Can we be certain he's here? He couldn't have made it through the aqueduct. It's a direct order from Master Shadowlord himself. We're to take extra precautions with this one. So keep it to yourself and resume your search before I have you locked up. Yes, sir. It's like one person in the city. I don't know why the guards are having issues finding him. How are the security fortifications in the agricultural district and the main gates? They're in place, sir. Good. Not a single... Find a place to hide. Can I just go in here? Well, there's the guards there. I 
Surely they can see me, right? <laughs> Oh, that was the first time I saw a loading screen and it was like a split second long. Boy, yeah, fine, I'm gonna hit no. Like, I have no other place to hide. Like, why does it keep asking me? <laughs> like, I'm. Like, this game. Like, it's. I don't really have a choice. Like, I either hit no and literally never continued uh, progression in this game or I just hit yes and I progress through the story like why does it keep asking me like pretending like I have a choice nothing sir we've already what's this building <clears throat> it's just an old inn it was closed about a year ago we searched it and didn't find anyone all right move out and continue the search yes sir I fainted on the stairs? Maybe I should change, like, uh, my hair color. Oh, there's a chest here. Oh! <laughs> I was joking about the hair color thing, but it turns out, yeah, I can change my hair color. <laughs> Well, that's not really black hair dye, but oh well. Disguising! Change your hair color and wear a scarf. <laughs> you know what? That's more effort than literally any Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> okay, we got DLC. You know what? I want to see about my DLC. Skills. Uh... Is it select? Where is my DLC stuff? Items. There we go. So this is what I got. Let's see what is in here. Uh, okay, acquired food. And potions, basically. <laughs> uh, cool. Exit the abandoned house. So how do I change clothes? It's not under costume. Is it like a button? Or maybe it's just part of the story. Like there is no actual button to change dyes and outfit. I have 70 gold already and I, you know, I just left the prison. Journal. Okay. Wait, check your journal in the main menu. Why? I already did. People at Prelis. Wait, what? <laughs> I need to reread that. Woman with false limbs. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Apparently there's a chest here. Or is it just telling me... Like this place... What is this place? Okay. Is this that saving system it was talking about? It's a shame that there's no voice acting here.
Okay. I don't know what just happened. Mind your surroundings, Crimson King. This place has become the cursed land. The Grimwald Knox. It is a realm where the line between the worlds of human and monster becomes obscured. For you, it is the front line of battle. Come forth, my monstrums, and consume this dark night! White Cat, reporting in. Hawk, present. <gasps> this Avengers. had better not be another waste of time. Doll here. Good day. Raging Bull, I'm raring to go. Renegade, let's get on with it already. Monstrums, meet the Crimson King. Now there are six of you. We have a new recruit. I guess we needed the extra help. <laughs> My condolences, pal. <laughs> That's a funny name you've got there, Crimson King. Bro, Raging your... Bull is also peculiar. Yeah, exactly. Your name's Raging Bull, mate. Like, you you clearly have the worst name in the team. I'm just saying. Uh, who are you people? Like you. They are monstrums. They use their gifts to exercise the monsters that infest this realm. If you fail to do so, you will be trapped here forever. And if you should die in this realm, your souls will wander it for the rest of eternity. That is the curse which all of you monstrums must bear. You'll obey me here on, or you'll regret it. There she goes again, sounding just as unreasonable as ever. That demented bitch. Oh my god. One day I'm gonna <laughs> kill her. I don't like it any more than you guys. But this is the only way we can get back to our own lives. The clock is ticking. Now then, shall we begin? Was not expecting the B word in this game. <laughs> I really did call the best prize. The time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheathe your curse and smite the darkness. Music's good. I'm hoping like six of us attack at the same time. So we're all fighting together. Cool. It's like uh, almost like Dynasty Warriors. Oh, I'm liking this. <laughs> I hope we get to stay a team like forever. That was close. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should be using my uh, R2 ability to grapple myself. They're too far away. I don't have to aim lock or I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I do need to aim lock. Never mind. I need to aim lock to uh, teleport. 
Wave one, yeah. Wait, where did my team go? Oh, there, right there. <laughs> Final wave. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like boss battle straight away. It's chasing me. It's like it's coming to me. Oh, did I dodge that? I think I dodged that. Oh, I'm I'm regaining mana a lot for some reason. Oh, I think it's because my teammates are killing the little minions and it gives me mana. Was that like one chapter? <laughs> like that entire thing I just did? <laughs> oh, rank I'd expect S. no less from all of you. Good. It seems the Grimwald Knox has lifted. You have much potential, Crimson King. Your power will be useful in banishing the darkness in the days to come. What? <gasps> I didn't read that. Why indeed? If you seek the truth about the curse, first unveil the mystery of all. We've returned to the city. Typical. Leave it to her to scurry off as soon as her dirty work's done. <sighs> Okay, well, I'm gonna go home. I'll be leaving too. Oh, um... Um... <laughs> you got that right, new kid. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, but you're out of luck. We don't have the answers you're looking for. <sighs> we still don't know why we're even fighting. Nor what those monsters are. Nor why the Grimwald Knox comes. Yeah, and what's with those magic bullets? She used them to turn us into these things. Someone's desperate for friends. And we can't leave the city either. You can thank the curse for that. When she calls, we fight. We're nothing more than puppets. I'd rather be Monster Chow than be stuck another month in this dump. Yeah, I love this city, but there's only so much to do around here. Hey, look, they're on the roof! Mama, is that a monster? Shh, it's rude to point. Wait a second, are those all of the monstrums? Yeah, but I count six of them. Is the red one a monstrum too? Oops, we've been made. <laughs> the new kid's outfit sticks out like a clown at a funeral. We should disperse before someone calls the Roman soldiers or the knights. Very well. I shall take my leave then. Okay, I'll go too. Bye guys! Man, everyone's got a house except for me. been looking all over for you after I heard you escaped from the prison. Am I glad I found you before the soldiers did? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> that right? I'm just glad you're okay. You can tell me what happened later. Huh? You look. Ah, never mind. Just imagining things, <laughs> I guess. Oh wow, yeah, th this disguise is horrible. <laughs> My anyway, friend doesn't even know what I've that changed. You're a fugitive, you really shouldn't be out here. Did you find him? 
No. We've looked everywhere, sir. <sighs> we can't let all six of them get away. Call for reinforcements. I want at least one of them in custody. Thanks to those monstrums, soldiers will be everywhere. We'd better find somewhere to lay low for now. You explain what happened. Wait, why am I bringing uh, Doggy to my basement? Like, where has he been staying for like 10 days? Why don't we just go Whoa, to his house? That's a lot to take in. So that makes you one of those monstrums? A prison with monsters in the basement. A mystery woman with false limbs. And a curse that won't let you leave the city. Can't say I understand it all. Except the part about being stuck here for a while. <laughs> Ain't much of an apology coming out of a wily smile like that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> you goofball. Anyway, before we can do anything else, we're gonna need a hideout. The basement of this abandoned building ain't bad. A hidden entrance like that would make coming and leaving a lot more discreet. We can fix it up enough to sleep here. Then we can talk about a plan. Yeah. Hmm. You got it. Just leave it to me. Cool. It's been about like an hour of me playing this game and we pretty much like just started the game. <laughs> so that's the end of chapter one. I'm curious to see what chapter two starts like. Oh, I didn't read that. Damn it. <laughs> well. Uh, you know what? <laughs> oh, I can't even press select. Oh, I can do this though. <laughs> Cool. Um, exit the abandoned house. A map. Oh, okay. Press left the map. Oh. Confirm or not if I can leave or not. Let's go to the map. So this is how big the map is and I guess I have to like... Uh, discover more areas. Although... Yeah, I can't go further than this. Maybe this is the entire map. Try to leave town. Let's see. gonna sprint it. <laughs> what? <Ow. laughs> uh, I am so, so sorry. Are you okay? I mean, I didn't hurt you, did I? I wonder if she's the, the cat lady. Yeah. Thank goodness. I'm. I've been having a hard time at work. Oh no! Sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. 
Um... Well... But I have to be going now. It's like I just skipped the dialogue there. But I know I didn't. <laughs> Dashing. What? Isn't that what I've always been doing? Yeah, that's what I've been doing since the beginning of the game. Like, that's like it's one of the first things it taught me to do. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna quit the game here. Let me just save before I forget. I have no idea if there's auto save. Uh, playtime. No, there isn't. Okay, so there's no. Yeah, there's no auto save. So watch out for that. Don't exit the game. There is no auto save. Just make sure you save your game. Um, so this was Ease 9. This was the first look for Ease 9 Monstrum Nox. Um, it's way more story focused than the previous game. Now, I loved the previous game. Uh, mainly because of its gameplay is what I was focusing on. The story was okay. I wasn't really that interested. But on Ease 9, it, the story sucked me in and if you follow my channel you know that I skip a lot of cutscenes and dialogues like when I want to watch uh, a cutscene I want it to be like you know like Tomb Raider or, or Grand Theft Auto level type of cutscenes where I'm actually you know easy to digest and I'm invested into the story but with Ease uh, 9 um, I, I got invested into the story anyway because the story itself was just interesting and I got sucked into it. Unfortunately, most of this video is just going to be cutscenes. Uh, I think there's like two gameplay elements that we've done it within the hour, but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. So thank you for watching my video. This is Jem, and I'll see you on the next one.